Hello, and thank you for purchasing another premium Bestway product. Over the next few minutes, we will show you how to set up and maintain your new splash and play pool. Please keep in mind this video is to accompany the printed user's manual and is not a substitute. Pay careful attention to the warnings and safety instructions included in the manual and be sure to visit your local pool retailer for information on treating the water in your pool. The most important step in setting up your pool is selecting a solid level location. Be sure to clear the area of any sharp objects or debris. Referring to the printed user's manual, ensure all items are present in your package. Please note, Bestway sells many different product combinations. Not all the items covered in this video will apply to your product. To determine the accessories included with your pool, refer to the pool package. If your pool came with a ground cloth, spread it out over your selected location. Ensure there is adequate room for foot traffic around your selected location. Now, spread out the pool, ensuring it is centered on the ground cloth. Check that the inlet and outlet valves are positioned correctly for the filter pump and that a GFCI plug is accessible. Also, make sure the drain valve seal is securely fastened. To prevent water from escaping when filling the pool, insert the stopper plugs into the inlet and outlet valves. The following information is intended for pools equipped with 1500 gallon filter pumps. To attach the connection valve, begin by screwing the strainer onto the strainer connector. From inside the pool, insert the assembled strainer into the pool's valve. Tighten the nut with the provided plastic wrench. Finally, hand tighten the valve body to the strainer. Make sure the valve is closed. Now, insert the top rails into the pool sleeves. With one inserted, attach another. Ensure the spring-loaded pins snap into position. Line up the holes in the sleeve with the holes on the rails. Using the C connectors, connect all the top rails together. The pool has started to take shape and it's time to assemble the legs. Insert the U supports through the pole supports on the bottom of the pool. Connect the ends of the U supports into the exposed holes on the top rails. Complete one side before moving to the other side of the pool. You can begin to fill your pool. Once there is an inch of water in the pool, remove any wrinkles from the liner. Work from the center outwards to the pool walls. This is critical to ensure your pool will sit correctly and experience a long life. It's that easy. With the pool filled to 80% capacity, it's time to splash and play and let the summertime fun begin. For customers with pool packages containing Bestway pool accessories and a filter pump, continue to the next section. For customers without filter pumps, be advised swimming pool water must be maintained. We highly recommend you purchase a Bestway Flow Clear filter pump to keep pool water clean and extend your pool's lifespan. The following information is intended for 330, 530, and 800 gallon filter pump installation. Begin by inspecting that the filter cartridge is centered in the filter pump. Before closing the pump, check that the filter cap seal is in place. Attach the hoses to the filter and tighten the hose clamps. Now, connect the hoses to the pool. Make sure the hoses correspond to the letters A to A and B to B on both the filter pump and the pool. Reach inside and remove the stopper plugs. This allows water to follow to the filter pump. Save the stopper plugs for pool and pump maintenance. Place the debris screen into the pool's inlet and outlet valves. With the hoses and the debris screens in position, tighten the hose clamps. Please note, some best weight pools come with fly nut hose clamps. For these, simply screw the fly nuts. Finally, unscrew the air purge and release any trapped air from the system.
your pump is ready to use. Simply plug it into any ground fault circuit interrupter. Warning, never run the filter pump when the pool is in use. Cleaning and maintaining your filter pump is recommended every two weeks. Begin by unplugging the filter pump. Next, replace the debris screens with the stopper plugs to prevent water flowing to the filter pump. Remove the filter cartridge and rinse it clean. It is recommended to replace filter cartridges every two weeks. Check your local retailer for best way replacement filters. Replace the filter cartridge ensuring it is centered. Check that the filter cap seal is in place and close the filter pump. Next, replace the stopper plugs with the debris screens which allow water to flow to the filter pump. Tighten the hose clamps. And finally, unscrew the air purge to release any trapped air from the system. The following information is for 1500 gallon filter pump installation. Begin by inspecting that the filter cartridge is centered in the filter pump. Before closing the filter pump, check that the filter cap seal is in place. Now, attach the hoses to the pool and filter. Make sure each hose corresponds to the letters A to A and B to B on both the filter pump and the pool. Screw the threaded locking rings into position. Open the connection valve. Water now flows to the filter pump. Finally, unscrew the air purge valve and release any trapped air from the system. Your pump is ready for use. Simply plug it into any ground fault circuit interrupter. Warning, to avoid the risk of electrical shock, never run the filter pump when the pool is in use. Cleaning and maintaining your filter pump is recommended every two weeks. Begin by unplugging the pump. Next, close the connection valve to prevent water flowing to the pump. Remove the filter cartridge and rinse it clean. If it remains soiled and discolored, replacement is necessary. Filter replacement is recommended every two weeks. Check your local retailer for best way replacement filters. Replace the filter cartridge ensuring it is centered in the pump. Check that the filter cap seal is in place and close the pump. Next, open the connection valve to allow water to flow to the pump. And finally, unscrew the air purge valve to release any trapped air from the system. Ladder assembly. To assemble the steps, start with bracing pipe A. Make sure the leg curves outwards. Align the steps and slide the retention bracket into position, completely inserting the pegs. Make sure the arrows line up. Continue with the remaining steps, ensuring all components correspond A to A and B to B. With the bottom sections complete, attach both night heads to one of the bottom sections. Ensure the warning labels face outward on the night heads. Next, attach the curved handles. And insert the screws, but do not tighten. Connect the remaining set of steps and screw all the components securely together. Test for stability. If you have a 48 inch or 121 centimeter ladder, follow the previous steps to assemble the legs and then attach the support board, inserting the screws, but do not tighten. Next, attach the curved handles and insert the screws. Again, don't tighten. Connect the remaining legs and tighten all screws. Please note, 
refer to the printed manual to determine which hardware to use and where. To complete assembly, fix the warning boards to the platform. Cleaning and maintaining your pool. Some best way pools come with pool covers. It is always a good idea to cover the pool when it's not in use to keep the water clean. Some best way pools come with an interchangeable pool maintenance kit. To assemble the maintenance tools, simply snap the spring-loaded pins into the pre-drilled holes. With the pole assembled, you can install the skimmer head to remove floating debris from the pool. Use the vacuum with your garden hose to clean the pool walls and floor. The running water activates the vacuum and pushes the debris into the collection bag. Once you have cleaned the pool, remove the collection bag and rinse it. Some best way pools come with a chemical floater. All best way pools require the use of pool chemicals. Consult your local pool supply retailer for information about chemical maintenance. Some best way pools come with a deluxe pool maintenance kit. Working with the filter pump through the Lux Pool Maintenance Kit can be used as both a skimmer to remove surface debris and a powerful vacuum to clean the pool liner. To set up the Lux Pool Maintenance Kit, begin by assembling the hook by putting the adjustable pole through the adjustable fastener. Attach the assembled hook to the skimmer body. Connect the hose to the bottom of the skimmer body and fix the hook onto the pool wall. Ensure the skimmer is positioned near the pool's outlet valve. For pools equipped with connection valves, remove the strainer. For pools with stopper plugs, remove the plug or debris screen from inside the pool and insert the hose adapter. Connect the hose to the hose adapter. To operate the skimmer, insert the float into the skimmer body and adjust the location of the skimmer so the top of the float is parallel with the water surface. Please note the skimmer should be perpendicular to the water surface at all times. Turn on the filter pump to activate the skimmer. To clean the skimmer, remove the float and empty any debris. To operate the vacuum, assemble the vacuum components by placing the debris bag into the vacuum body and tightening the cap. Insert the vacuum bag into the skimmer body and screw it into position. Now attach the vacuum head to the pole. Ensure the spring-loaded pins snap into position. Connect the vacuum hose to both the vacuum head and the hose connector and tighten the hose clamps. Put the hose into the pool and fill it with water. Fasten the connector to the vacuum cap. Turn on the filter pump to activate the vacuum. Once you've finished vacuuming the pool liner, unplug the filter pump and remove any debris from the collection bag. To drain your pool, simply attach your garden hose to the provided adapter. Place the other end of the hose in a drain area. Unscrew the drain valve cover and screw the adapter into the valve. This opens the valve and releases the water. If a repair patch is needed, dry the area to be repaired. Remove the patch backing and place the patch over the damaged area. Smooth the surface and remove any air bubbles. At the end of the season, it is important to completely clean and dry your pool and other components before storage. We recommend a wet dry vac to thoroughly dry the filter pump and hoses. To further enhance the lifespan of the filter cap seal, coat the seal with petroleum jelly. Store the pool and other components in a warm, dry place. All these simple steps will ensure your best way pool has a long life. If you have any questions about our products, please visit our website at www.bestway-service.com or call our toll-free number for your region. Thanks for watching.